Hello gang, how are you? Um, I've just gone live for a second. Um, just want to give a bit of a shout out to a few people and um, help you in this little bit of a difficult time, which is um, going on at the moment. Everybody's kind of a bit confused uh, because of the isolation and um, you know what to do retraining wise and all the other bits and pieces. So firstly uh, obviously everyone's in really different situations at the moment um, you know whether that's being at home whether that's um, you know having to work from home with kids at home and everything else but it's really uh, important and but I'm stream streaming on live um, live on YouTube as well if you want to watch that if you're sitting at home um, at the moment I haven't had uh, coronavirus or been anywhere near it hello Robbie Thomas how are you sir um, but just get a few messages about people talking about how to train at home. Now, um, as you know, my wife is an incredible um, fitness author and fitness trainer, so she's got loads of extensive books and bits and pieces um, which will be able to help you with your um, kind of training uh, and give you some tips. I've also got a couple of books as well that's got home workouts. So a couple of bits of advice really I would give is um, don't panic about not being able to get to the gym. There's plenty of stuff you can do at home. Yes, obviously, if you're like, bodybuilding goals or trying to build loads of weight and stuff that's going to be very difficult because of um, the fact you're not going to have a lot of weight to do you know time under tension and resisted based training but you can um, still do a lot of body weight work um, so you know if you want to you know do little circuits to stay fit and stay healthy because it's important in, in this kind of bit of isolation not to get home and think do you know what I'm at home now let's fuck it let's eat what I want do what I want um, which is something I almost started doing. You know, I'm obviously training for my first fight. Whether that goes ahead or not is going to be um, open to kind of discussion. So I'm still training away, trying to look after myself. Um, obviously, I've got limited limited access. I do have some gym equipment at home, but a lot of the stuff I will be doing would be body weight circuits, would be hip training, would be working for 20 seconds on, 20 you know, 20 seconds off, 25 seconds on, you know, on for a minute, off for a minute. All these kind of different variations. There's plenty of resources out there. Just got to do a bit of Google, a bit of uh, work. As I said, my wife's got, um, you know, uh, varying very degrees of books out there. Fantastic body transformation stuff. Um, as well as my myself with Perfect Fit and obviously um, Cooking Guide, uh, Cooking for Fitness. If you want tips and stuff, Amazon, you can pick all the books up from 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 there. Um, but I think it's just more important just to you know to not panic and and use your resources. Um, see this as an opportunity to um, improve yourself in certain areas, get a little bit more organised, take up an online course that you've always wanted to do. Um, you know maybe uh, read an extra you know uh, read some books you wanted to 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 reach out it's, i think it's a really nice opportunity to actually improve yourself and see it as an advantage i know for some people there's gonna be massive financial implications loss of jobs um loads of bits and pieces um you know which can affect lots of people you know all my work stuff is public facing so you know whether that's djing afternoon speaking um you know training for my fight i don't have any of that stuff anymore but i'm seeing this as an opportunity to maybe reach out to my social media audience on Instagram or on Facebook um, or on YouTube and do a little bit more in terms of DJing, some live streams. Um, I'm going to do a couple of online courses, I think. I want to sort my house out, get a bit more organized. Uh, and training wise, you know, it's important to have a routine every day. You know, Chloe was kind of talking to me about it once I come back from training. You know, if you don't have a reason to get up in the morning, then you, you become lazy, you start eating badly, uh, you start putting everything in the fucking bucket and just being. You know kind of quite casual about it so for me i'm trying to make sure i wake up every morning at a normal time i would get up to work 8 30 9 o'clock or, or slightly earlier go and do some training have my breakfast answer my emails reach out to different people um uh, and just try and stay you know with my head on obviously some people are more, more affected by this than others um you know for some people isolation is really important not going near um, elderly relatives is fine for a lot of healthy people this is just going to be something that, that comes and goes but it's important that we let uh, do what the government says let everything pass because we want to have our, our summer back especially we want to make sure that we, we get over this and do it do it really quickly so I think it's really um, so it's really important but as I said you know I've had a few people reach out especially men saying listen I want to go to the gym I'm trying to get massive gains how am I going to survive at home look diet's really easy to to manage at home you know, obviously, I know some people have got shortages of food, etc. But you can be sensible. The worst thing you can do is go and buy a load of junk food because you think you're going to be at home. Um, you know, just stick to your normal routine. Track. You know, um, Chloe's got me on 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 my fitness pal tracking all the time, making sure I'm managing my 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 calories. Um, obviously, with the um, 
with the uh, you know the fighting stuff, I was burning so many calories per day that I was struggling a little bit. So um, you know that was really important for me. Um, and then I was basically you know tracking all my food. Hydration is a massive one. This is Nutrition Hydration Week this week, so it's really important to make sure you look after yourself. Don't sit at home drinking on your own. That's a one-way recipe for disaster. And more importantly, I think that anything else in this period of time is your mental health. Uh, now, mental health is such uh, an overlooked aspect, and especially for men, men are really guilty of turning around and saying, um, you know, I'm okay, I'm fine. But when you've um, you've got a job every day, a routine, you know, these things help with things like anxiety, with um, you know, being able to focus and, and perform, but actually, you know, there's a lot of times when, um, you know, if you're sitting on your own, left with your own thoughts, you don't have to wake up to train, you don't have to wake up to go to work, you're with your family all the time, you're with your wife all the time, you're with your kids all the time, this stuff can get a bit of pressure, and there's lots of, of places you can reach out, ask for help, especially um, a lot of rugby players at the moment, you know, not doing what they're supposed to do, sports people, there's, there's helpline, restart, rugby have got an amazing helpline uh, for those people struggling, um, so look, it, I see this. You know, this is a real, you know, negative situation, but also there's a lot of positives to be taken out of it. You know, get into a good routine, use some resources online, training at home. Well, you can, you know, maintain your 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 size if you eat properly. You can um, do good body weight work. You can get a good pump on at home. You can burn calories. You can burn fat. Uh, and also, I think it's really important that you, um, you know, focus on one thing. This is my last thought. Because I'm gonna do a couple more of these videos. But worry about what you can control. So controlling, uh, you know, how you treat your body, how you treat other people, um, how hard you work, uh, and how positive you stay, is, is something you can control. Everything else, how long this takes, whether you're going to catch the virus or not, whether you know, you, you know, your employees are going to pay you or not, that that out of your control. So you've just got to maintain, you know, positivity and worry about what you control. If you find your mind wandering off, overthinking, panicking, you know, going, what happens? How long is this going to last? What happens if I can't? I know it's, it's easier said than done, but it's something that will really important and really help you during this, this process. So again, you know, stay strong with your nutrition, stay strong with your, um, with your training, get yourself a routine, worry about what you can control and just be really positive. As I said, Chloe's got loads of resources, books and stuff that she um, has on like you know, four week body weights, um, transform your body with weights. I've got perfect fit, all these resources are there on, online. She's actually about to launch a, a new website which is great. Um, there are helplines out there for people and please um, you know, stay strong, keep enjoying yourself and uh, I'm going to DJ some, some live streams as well. So hopefully if you like house music, then you'll like what I've got. If you don't, then I can't help you. I've got a few questions and stuff as well um, on my YouTube channel at the moment. Um, uh, what's he, what we got to say? Stay at home and have a sing song. Yeah, very amusing. Um, nutrition, hydration, exercise is important, even inside self-isolation. Yes, Alex English, they are really important to do that, really important to get that routine going. Um, what else got? Anything else? Uh, did you feel robbed and I'm a celeb? No, no. Uh, my camp mates deserve to, to do better than I did. Um, and I thought Jacqueline was an incredible winner. Really exciting to see um, all the progress she's made with her new clothing range. Um, Roman's obviously killing it on, on radio. Kate's doing very well. Ian's being the legend that he always is. Andrew Maxwell's doing well. Cliff's doing well. Andrew, uh, Andy's doing well. Everyone. Adele, the whole gang are on, on, on Fuego. And even Miles, unfortunately, after his, um, his accident, uh, is back, you know, back smashing it. So, listen, gang, I'm going to leave it there. I've got to go and get some physio. But I'll be keeping everybody away from everybody else. And I'll be fully self-isolating. But remember, you're not alone. And this period is actually brilliant for social media. This is the one time I think that social media is actually going to come to the fore. Real sh sharing of positivity, sharing our ideas, sharing a free content, I think is absolutely the way forward. So uh, I'll catch you all soon and uh, big love.